Hi guys, this is Holly here and I'm your personal resume writing coach. In this tutorial, we're going to explore how to quantify accomplishments. This step is often missed as people develop their resume and I'm going to show you how to elevate your writing with numbers. Let's take a look at this classic job description. This person states that they were a staff development manager and taught a group of officers how to speak Arabic. Wow, that's a bold statement, but as a hiring manager, I'm left with too many questions. How many people did you teach? What was the time frame in which you taught these officers? Are we talking fluent level Arabic or just basic survival language? As you can see, this really falls short. Now let's take a look at this description. Taught a 250 person task force how to speak rudimentary Arabic in preparation for an assignment in the Middle East. Okay, that's a bit better. A 250 person task force is a large undertaking. Notice that we also explain that this is rudimentary Arabic. We've cleared some confusion by quantifying how many people you've taught and their level of proficiency. Okay, the last one was all right, but we still have opportunity to make it a little better. How about this? Taught a 250 person task force how to speak rudimentary Arabic in preparation for an assignment in the Middle East by conducting a 12 week, 120 hour intensive program. Not only do these numbers give hiring managers a better scope of work, it also adds credibility or authenticity. Here we have some other tips for quantifying. Volumize, and no, I'm not talking about your hair. Tell me about how many people you managed. How many aircraft were in your fleet? How many pages were in the safety manual you wrote? Another quantifier is percentages. For example, you could say reduced worksite accidents by 15% in six months by implementing weekly safety meetings. Money is always important. You can also show scope of work through budgets and expenditures. For example, inventory $500,000 worth of parts and equipment on a biannual basis. So after you've written your resume, read back through and ask yourself, is there something I can quantify to make this picture more clear? I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. And remember, a great interview gets you the job, but a great resume gets you the interview. See you next time.